the six pioneer Jesuit missionaries from Australia arriving in Hazaribagh in February 1951, who first heard the call of the songbird, the koyal, on the Chotanakpo plateau. Little realized that their coming would give birth 41 years later in 1992 to Hazaribagh province. The first provincial was Father Edward Mudvasari, who succeeded Father R.C. Chako, our last regional superior. In 2018, the province numbers 176 members working in eight districts of Jharkhand, educating some 24,422 students in 36 educational institutions, which include Degree College in a rural area. A primary teacher's education college, two English medium plus two schools, two Hindi medium plus two schools, ten Hindi medium high schools, seven Hindi medium middle schools and many small village, primary and non-formal schools. These institutions are staffed by 785 men and women. There are 3,489 students in hostels, including staff. One special feature of the province is the partnership we have with sisters' congregations, dating back to the severe famine of 1966-67. The then Nuncio Archbishop Knox and Australian invited various sisters' congregations to help. After the famine, some stayed on. In 1974, and uh, I had no experience of language and the local problems, but uh, the presence of Jesuit fathers here helped me a lot, and they were there to help uh, help us to look after the patients locally, going to the villages and taking them to the outside big hospitals also. Uh, financially also they helped, and this help and uh, support of each other is went on all through our life here. There are now 11 congregations sharing our work in education, health and social service. Some have established formation houses in the province. The joy of working with Hasaribagh Jesuits. I have been working with this Hasaribagh Jesuits almost 10 to 15 years. And I cherish by those sweet memories, getting brotherly love and affection, encouragement, and that made me to handle the things in a proper way. At times I felt that this is my own institution, not working with other people's institution. From 1952, the Australian province had started sending scholastics and a few priests and brothers to what was called at that time the Indian Mission. In the years that followed, the Australian province was to send 58 Jesuits of whom seven remain most in their 80s. The eldest is Father Gavin O'Sullivan, a young man of 95 who came in the third batch of 1953. I come from Adelaide, mm -hmm. and then before I entered the uh, society, I was in about 12, 14 months in the army. And I went from the army to the uh, society in Melbourne. Mainly, I would say to remember we are not working for ourselves, we are working for God. It was a great joy to the fledging mission when on June 20th, 1954, a young man named Godenshuis Gungari from 
Khunti district entered the Jesuit novitiate in Sitagada as our first local vocation as an apostolic he helped the first batches from Australia with their Hindi pronunciation years later when we celebrated the golden jubilee of the first six in 2002 Gaudentius was our provincial having succeeded father Edward in 1998 Gaudi as he is fondly known guided the province into the new millennium these are the things that i was attracted with they were young they were energetic they were looking you know working type of people and they were so accessible and just talking to them as i thought i meant here are, here are some people who, who to whom i can sort of talk to and i can go to and then I, and that was very good for me. The Jesuit novitiate in Sitagada, mentioned above and named after St. Stansolos Kostka, formerly a formation house of Ranchi province since 1933, was handed over to Hazaribagh in 1992. It continues to be a formation hub, still housing a novitiate, juniorate and tertianship. Hundreds of young men from our Hazaribag province and many provinces of South Asia and even beyond have received their initial and final years of Jesuit formation passing through the imposing portals of SSC. The property is called a mini Vatican as some 13 congregations have formation houses on the campus, availing the help of the staff and the tertians of SSC. This is the formation house of novitiate, juniorate and tertianship, the first and the last formation in the Society of Jesus. As novices, they look at the Tersons as their role models and they get inspiration from them. And the Tersons play a very important role to become role models for the novices so that they get the message that the life of the society contains here in the formation house. In 1951, when the first Australians were planning to take charge from the Belgian missionaries, of the Hazaribagh mission assigned to them. The large parish of Mahwada, some 200 kilometers from Hazaribagh in western Latihar district, figured large in their thoughts. One of the first six, Father Lu Lashal, became the parish priest of Mahwada. 67 years later, the Chachari Valley is blessed with a degree college, a hospital, medical centers, numerous schools, a social action center, a flourishing cooperative bank, branch and a vibrant Catholic community which produced in 1998, its first bishop, Gabriel Kujur SJ, the third for Dalton Gunj Diocese. The diocese has a total Catholic population of 67,371, divided into 23 parishes. Presently, since Bishop Gabriel's retirement, the diocese has yet to have a new bishop. Two Ranchi provincemen, the late Bishop George Sopan SJ and Bishop Amaruthus Charles Soring SJ were previous bishops of Dalton Ganj and Hazari Park. These two dioceses stand as 
witnesses to the tireless efforts of the early missionaries most reverend anand jojo is the present bishop of hazari bag they are always with me in the mission in the pastoral activities in their in my joys and sorrows and they are a big supporter in the mission and in the pastoral life i am happy and grateful for that with the health centers a community come media center a catty catical center a minor seminary and 12 parishes the province as the practice in the society handed over many established parishes to the diocese and retained mahuada pakri pat and porkunda and looked to do more pioneering work a few are in the temporary care of the society at the moment about 10% of the tribal peoples live in jharkhand our state of jharkhand has a higher than average tribal population of over 26% it was among the larger tribes the urals the mundas and the khadiyas that the missionaries were working The province has only recently turned its attention to the minor tribes such as Nagesias, Baraiks, Korwas, Brijias, and the Asurs. These minor tribes are. receiving much needed education samane kha kha padas hi jo bila jo bila nu hi yo re ba das we are working for the tribals the dalits the minor tribals like nagesias korwas and birjias so our focus is for their upliftment for their education we fight for their justice and we keep building the society at the grassroots level it gives us great joy and pride to see numbers of santal jesuits in our ranks our ministry with the santal goes back many years the apostolate of the santals has focused with much success on three areas inculturations evangelization and education it began with father len foster in april 1965 and was carried on with much success by father hans hendrix and others 24th october 1997 was a watershed movement for the young province on that day father at thomas was brutally murdered and the young martyr became for all of us the driving force for our continuing work for the dalit community father tony herbert talks about his memories of that day 
I decided to work for these people. It wasn't a, a choice for people, it was a choice for the poorest people. As Jesuits, we have an option to work for the least and the last. That's a special option we have, because nobody else will go there. So when I looked at Hazaribagh district, Hazaribagh area, I, I found out that caste-wise this is the lowest group, and you can see the situation here. Uh, this is an urban group here. Uh, this is repeated in many of the urban places in Chhatra. It's also in the villages also in a different degree. The, the difference is these people don't have their own land. I mean, I go to a tribal village, they'll be poor, but then normally they'd have some land uh, and they have some dignity and they're very strong about their own culture. These people have lived under high caste people and have tended to lose their own culture and emulate the culture of those dominating them, which is a Brahminical culture. The province is involved with the ongoing ministry among the Dalits, which is coordinated from Prerna Research Centre in Hazaribagh town. After October 1997 was doubled our efforts on behalf of the marginalized and other deprived people in our area and beyond with increased advocacy, awareness programs and legal aid. Inter-province involvement in justice issues such as tribal land rights, forest rights and religious freedom have been taken up with greater vigor. This we have accomplished together our other SJ brothers from the central zone and also with many NGOs. All of the above require brave young men fired with the love of Christ and wanting to do great things. AMDG Presently, there are 13 men involved in formation at different levels. There are 64 formies and 35 candidates and pre-novices. Some five priests are doing doctoral studies. Our men are being equipped to take up new challenges but more has to be done specially to improve our academic standards and to foster greater involvement in the common discernment of the province and the South Asian assistancy. Nevertheless, one can detect a vibrancy and a lively Jesuit spirit with a strong sense of loyalty to our universal vocation and the province. Boundary. Finding God in and everything. The fire that kindles the other fire. Complete renunciation of comfort. Soldier of Christ. The life of simplicity. Joy. Chosen one of God. Ever ready to serve. Ever searching for my sins. The gift of God. To be frontier. Grace of God. Learn in Jesus. Service minded person. Happy life. Companion of Jesus. I can't express my joy. I am truly blessed. Men for others. Precious gift. Single life. Ever to love and ever to serve. Enjoy your life. Our vocation, promotion, com, youth. Work is handled by Father Arbind Beck, SJ, and his companions in the field.
as Arbind himself will tell us. His time of Cambodia opened his eyes to the broader challenges beyond our shores to the frontiers. Regency in Cambodia has made me strong from inside. One of the things I have learned from the people of Cambodia is to be happy in all the situations. Youth in Cambodia and here in India are more or less the same. They look for someone who can understand them, who can listen to them, who can accompany them in the joys and sorrows of their life. To work with youth, we need time, energy and patience. The future of the society of Jesus in Hajaribag depends so much in the young people. So they need a lot of training, lot of exposure, and uh, that is the way I think we can prepare them to be competent. What does the future hold? We have every reason to be hopeful about the future. It's both in our hands and God's. What a partnership.